like a rocket shape. I've got a piece of paper that I'm going to use to decorate my rocket. But you you might have something that you can you might have stickers. You might have those sort of um, pens that you can use on stones that can also would be okay on plastic. I've got my ribbons to hang down from my rocket and I'm going to use lentils or you could rice or something to just put inside it to make it um, like a musical instrument as well. So you will need the lid really if you're going to do that with it. Okay, so, but I think the first thing then that we'd need to do is we're going to decorate our piece of paper or a bottle or a toilet roll or whatever it is that you've got. Let's decorate that first. Maybe um, you might have some stickers, you might have some pens. I'm going to um, put Zoom Zoom on mine as well, which of course you might need to help if you've got a big, big sister with you <laughs> to help you. That would be good. And I'm going to start decorating my piece of paper first. Uh, I want it to be quite nice and bright for when um, I'm using it. It looks really good. Of course, because I'm going to be sticking it around a bottle, some of it might be hidden. But there we go. I'm going to do a bit of quick colouring. I'll do a bit of purple over here. And then, or you might want to make it look like flames coming up the edge for when it goes around. You have to decide which is top or bottom when you stick it on. But you might want to make it so it's like flames, right in you. Um, so you might have some yellow or orange. And in fact, now that I've done purple, I'd like to do flames. So I'm going to turn mine over because <laughs> I quite like my own idea. So instead, I'm going to do oh, my orange isn't great. Do some orange. And... some yellow it's quite nice as well if you're younger and you can just make marks on the paper you need to be neatly colored or anything It'll just be your own mark making and some red hi Hugo and Holly right, let's put that on here look it looks a little bit more like fiery sort of Flames, would you say now? More yellow on there. Do I have another orange? Am I? Yeah. Okay. Let's have a bit more orange. Orange is a good one for flames, isn't it? And then I am going to write the word zoom zoom on mine. There we go. So I've done some, like I say, it doesn't need to be neat colouring, just look like what you want it to. So it looks some, like some flames. So I'm now going to write zoom, zoom. Bubble writing, I think. Zoom. Uh, zoom. Zoom. I'm going to come out backwards on my little screen as I show you, but you can get the idea what I've done. I've just written zoom, zoom, and I'm going to colour those in before I attach them to my bottle. This bit I might be a bit more neater on, <laughs> but it's up to you how you do yours. So I bet you can't guess what song we're going to sing uh, singing later using our rockets songs do you think we're going to sing? I can hear you exactly. Zoom, zoom. We we'll have to sing zoom, zoom, won't we? What else do you think we might sing? I was thinking five little men in a flying saucer. That else has something to do with space and the stars? Rockets. Yeah, so twinkle, twinkle, little star. I think I have to do that one. 
So that's three songs. Ooh, it's not a very good pen. So that's three songs straight away, isn't it? I'm enjoying colouring in this zoom zoom word, they're going to look really good. There's a pink one, another pink one. If you know any other space, stars, rockets, planets type songs, you can always comment. We could always sing them later. Right, do a blue. I'm nearly ready to stick it onto my rocket. And then we'll have to do the I think then we'll fill it up with whatever it is you might want to if that's what you're gonna do. Blue and what other colour shall I do last? Maybe a I might do yellow. Yellow. There we go. Right, so you can attach your piece of paper with some cellar tape or some PVA glue, or maybe prick stick might work if you've got a good one. Or you might, like me, have double sided tape or some little sticky dots which work quite well for me because I obviously want to try and get all of this done in time. So you can put it round like this. And I think this is going to be my top because of the sort of, sort of uh, it goes narrower at the top there. If I had more time, I might put something over that bit as well with paper or if you've got tissue paper you could use um, tissue paper to decorate around the bits that the paper won't fit on All right so I put some sticky dots on my piece of paper so I can stick it to each other and some on the bottle these are very very sticky sticking everywhere everywhere but where I want them two more on very very sticky one two all right so hopefully you can still see what I'm doing yeah so I'm just going to stick my zoom zoom bit there we go to the bottle and then oops the paper to itself as well so that it's attached to my rocket. Lovely. So now I'm going to put some lentils inside because I'm going to make my rocket like a musical instrument as well. So you don't want it completely full. And I'm using my funnel to help me. You might want to use a spoon to help you. I'm just gonna pour some in. It's quite fun if you're little to use a spoon as well, helps with that hand and eye coordination. Right, and I'm gonna fill it probably about, that's probably enough, not quite half full. You want there to be plenty of room for the things you're putting inside to be able to move around so that hopefully, when you put the lid on, in fact, that might even be a few too many. I might take some out. So then, get that, that rainmaker effect noise. You might want to put in a couple of different things. So I've only put lentils in. If you put sort of lentils and dried peas and um, rice or maybe even um, pasta, then you'll get a different sort of sound. But my rocket, when it's flying, can sound like it's making a noise. So now I want to put some ribbons on the bottom. I've got some blue and some pink and some yellow. Of course, you want to make it really authentic. You might want to use 
yellow and orange. So I've only got a little bit of yellow. I didn't have any orange. Of course, we just need to use what we've got, don't we? So I'm going to do, I'm going to cut some quite long ones. I'm going to have quite a lot of ribbons coming off because I think that will look quite nice. And my pink. So no real special size of how long you have to make your ribbons. Just enough to look good when you're flying your rocket. And um, you know, your my ribbon's quite thin. You might have thicker ribbon. You might not need as many bits. You might not have much ribbon. If you don't have any ribbon, you can use tissue paper. You could make your own sort of tails from the rocket with paper if you didn't have any ribbon or tissue paper or you might have another idea of something you could put there oh, i've got quite a lot of ribbons to stick <laughs> right like my ribbons here are my ribbons obviously you're going to stick it from the bottom um make sure paper's not quite there go that's one so we're going to attach them to the bottom and you can attach them again with sellotape or with um, PVA or print stick sellotape are we going to keep it there the best right. my sticky dots are being too sticky right so I'm going to start touching them now I ran out of cellar tape the other day I'm going to give my PVA glue a go if you've got um I'm going to stick mine I think to the paper I stick to the paper I think I might stick mine to the paper to the edge of the paper because then you can make it go all the way around if you want to you could stick it right underneath though couldn't you like that as it comes off of it like that the thing when you make these things sometimes it's trial and error make it up as you go along so I'm going to alternate mine pink and some blue then some yellow pink blue make nice patterns yellow pink blue and yellow you see how my rocket is now starting to look more even more like a rocket i'm going to put a few more on i think i quite enjoy this bit i'm really looking forward to using it at singing time now <laughs> hi barbara we're just making some rockets and when we do our singing at 11 we're going to sing our rocket song zoom zoom and we'll have twinkle star and five little men in a flying saucer so we're going to have lots of space orientated songs there you go look barbara we're just making our, our rocket of course this says zoom but you'll see it backwards so i'm just putting on the flying boots but we've also put something inside to make it a noisy musical instrument rocket. Where did I put that again? Right, let's put another one on here. And then here. It's nice to see the sunshine out again today. It was very cold and windy last couple of days. Got my washing nice and dry. 
but I quite like it just calm and a little bit sunny. I don't want it too hot. Right, let's just cut another, another pink one and the yellow one. I was concerned that pink and blue wouldn't look right on my rocket, but I'm quite liking the pink and the blue. Pink, blue and yellow. I've got one corner left to do to make it look as though the whole of my bottom of my rocket is covered in flames. Blue, pink and yellow flames, but flames all the same. Um, one yellow one and then I've done that bit. And then we'll see what time it is. See what time we have left together. I love that. Almost reminds me as well of like a, a creature that you might find in the water. Isn't it? With all its tentacles. But I'm not sure how much I like this bit. So I might have to give that some thought. Okay, so for the um, top of the rocket, the cone, I've cut round a circle of card and then I have just cut to the middle and then you fold those two bits over each other to do a cone you need to kind of measure it around your space rocket to see what size fits best there we go I think that fits quite well so now I'm going to just attach that bit with my glue dots and then I can attach it to the actual bottle. A couple of glue dots on here to just keep it down. You could of course use sellotape, PVA. Oops, but there you see I have my cone shape. And then I can just attach my cone to the top of the bottle. So it's better to really put the, if you're going to use glue, I suggest you put it round the top of the bottle. Put a couple more on. There we go. So just all the way around, just make sure you've got something to attach that cone to. If you can't do it this way, you just need to make sure that you've got something in here so that when you push it on, it has something to stick to and then you should have your fully made rocket with a cone with a musical instrument rocket that you can play with okay bye